On to the first mountain stage in the Pyrenees with over 200 kilometers between Toulouse and Bagnères de Bigorre. Two big climbs in the final third, the Col de Pérasord and the Orquette de Saison, before a long sweeping descent to the finish line. Well, the riders made a fast and furious start, covering over 50 kilometers in the first hour alone. Eventually, a large group of 40 went up the road. Plenty of fast men coming along for the intermediate sprint. Sagan, Colbrelli, Christoph and Steuven, and lots of potential stage winners too, including Dylan Turns, Simon Yates and Maximilian Schachmann. The gap easing out to four minutes with Dekernic, Quickstep and Team Ineos pacing the peloton. Daniel Oss leading out Peter Sagan for the intermediate sprint in Bagnères de Luchon at the foot of the Parasord. 20 more points and job done for the man in green. With news filtering through that the world time trial champion Rohan Dennis had mysteriously abandoned the tour, his Bahrain Merida teammate Tony Colbrelli moved up to the front on the climb, but he was soon overtaken by Lilian Kalmujan of Total Direct Energy. The Frenchman was caught just before the summit with Tim Vellens pocketing 10 points and making sure he'd keep the polka dot jersey for another day. Birthday boy Simon Clark then pulled clear on the descent, just over 60k to go with the peloton six minutes back. 33 today, the Aussie had just over a minute in hand by the time he reached the Orquette d'Ancizan. With some riders starting to go backwards, European champion Matteo Trentin set off in pursuit of Clark. But it was Simon Yates who proved the strongest up the 9.9 kilometre climb, coming over the summit with former Austrian champion Gregor Mühlberger. Astana's Pelo Bilbao was hot on their heels, followed by a group of six chasers, Trentin and Schachmann, teammates of Yates and Mulberger, plus Poles, Roach and AG2R Le Monde Alper, Galopin and Frank. In the end, though, they wouldn't bridge the gap. Bilbao joining up with Yates and Mulberger, and the leading trio set to battle it out for a first Tour de France stage win in Bagnier de Bigorre. Yates leads out, Bilbao still holding, Mulberger looking for some room to get out, Yates with his nose in front, Bilbao challenging, Yates he can, Yates he does, it's Yates who wins. Well Great Britain's Yates making the most of his track background to claim a first tour stage win ahead of Bilbao and Mulberger. Tish Bernard was the best of the rest, while the overall favourites rolled in over nine minutes down. We can expect the real GC fireworks to come this weekend. I wasn't very confident of beating either of them. I didn't, didn't really know how fast they were. Um, I just knew from the directors in the car, they told me I need to be in the front coming around the last corner. So I made sure to do that and uh, well, luckily I held on to win. Well, Simon Yates already had a pretty impressive CV, having won the Vuelta and the UCI World Tour in 2018. The 26-year-old, best young rider on the tour two years ago, now has a stage win at all three Grand Tours. It's a second victory this year for Mitchelton Scott after Darrell Impey's success on Stage 9. Julian Alaphilippe said that he wanted to be in yellow for tomorrow's time trial when the Maillot Jaune will be 100 years old to the day. The Frenchman gets his wish, while Sagan extends his lead in green to 86 points after winning the intermediate sprints. Ditto for Velens in polka dots after he was first over the Col de Perisord. And with Jasper Phillips in a non-starter today, Egan Bernal is now the youngest rider in the race and he remains in white. Tomorrow, an eighth day for Alaphilippe at the top of the pile.